Organizing your online preferences is a crucial aspect to your online store. How to set up your categories or collections affects how your customers find the items they're looking for, and brand or custom fields will help customers filter inventory on category or collection pages. We highly suggest taking the time to properly create and organize your store's online preferences. So to start out, go to the Preferences section and click Admin. We'll start out by adding your store's address to the address field if you have not already done so. The reason for this is this will be necessary for shipping within the Ricochet web store. This is also a great time to review the email or phone number attached to the account, since many times store owners will use their personal information when creating a trial and forget to update that once they go live with Ricochet. So next, we can go to the product section. And here you can organize your categories, collections, brands, and custom fields. Now like we mentioned earlier, categories and collections will be how you organize your online inventory, and brands and fields will be used to filter that inventory. Categories and collections will be viewable in the top navigation bar on your website, and you also have the ability to display categories or collections on your homepage using the drag and drop modules and the page builder. Many stores have already set up or started adding categories into their account. Regardless, categories will be necessary to add items to your online store. If you've not reviewed how to add categories, then you may want to check out that tutorial video first. In this video, we'll simply review how to prep or reorganize your categories for your Ricochet web store. You're going to want to find a happy medium between properly organizing items, but also not overdoing it. Considering that customers might be visiting your site from a computer, a tablet, or a mobile device, you will want to make sure that you're offering your customers a great shopping experience no matter what device they're using. This means avoiding long lists of parent categories, utilizing child categories, and using Tier 3 categories sparingly. Start out by reviewing any categories you want to remove from your online store. You can keep these categories from being displayed by clicking the category, then turning the Show Online toggle button off. Next, you'll want to add category photos to all of your parent categories. This can be done by highlighting the category and clicking the Edit button. You can click the Photo icon to upload a photo, or if you're on a computer, you can click and drag the photo from your desktop. Parent category photos will appear in the Shop by Category module, so you do not need to upload photos for child or tier 3 categories. Similar to uploading photos to items, keep a square layout for category photos, preferably using a 600 by 600 or 800 by 800 pixel ratio for category photos. The last thing you'll need to do is reorganize categories if needed. If you have a long list of parent categories, consider creating a parent category like accessories or home decor. Then click on that category and drag any parent categories into the child category column. You can also toggle the custom ordering toggle button on to reorder categories. This way you can prioritize categories that may sell better online. Next we can review collections. Collections allow you to attach items to one or more collections to offer your customers a unique shopping pathway. Collections will have a lot of similarities to categories. They will appear in the top drop-down menu labeled Collections and also can be added to your homepage by clicking and dragging the Collections module. You will also be able to add a photo to each collection. And when you're adding items to your online store, you will be able to choose multiple collections to attach that item to. Stores might use collections as a way of highlighting specific vendors or consigners, show employee favorites, or even list a sales section. Once a customer clicks on a category or collection, they will see a column on the left-hand side that will allow them to filter the item listings. There are a few ways a customer can filter inventory. By price, 
which will always be available, by attribute, brand, or custom field. If you click on fields, then you'll be shown four options. Department, which is used to organize items normally by store location or season, will be the only option that is not a filterable option on the web store. Next, there will be brand, which we highly suggest using, but still suggest using sparingly. When dealing with consignment items, you're going to run into countless brands. Adding brands to every item can result in a massive brand list, resulting in a bad user experience for your customers. Our suggestion is to add high demand or sought after brands. To add a brand, simply type in the title, then click the comma button to lock in the brand. You can also choose to create custom fields. And more often than not, custom fields are used to attach sizes to one of a kind items. Stores that have retail items that might have quantities of items of different sizes would use attributes. And these are filterable options as well in the online store. But for one of a kind items, the best option is to attach an item to a custom field. Just like brands, you can type the custom field option, then click the comma button to lock in that custom field. The last thing to note is that brand, attribute, and custom filtering options will always be dynamic, meaning the left-hand column will only show options that are attached to items being displayed. So if you've added 20 brands into the system, but only four are attached to items in a certain category, only those four brands will appear in the filter column. It's a great practice to take some time early on and properly establish your online preferences. Feel free to ask us any questions or schedule a demo to go through things in more detail.